Hello watch lovers, this is Anders here on Time and Crown channel. Today a watch I'm very excited presenting you to. Because this is a very interesting brand. This is Volcane. This is a legendary brand because of the history of this brand. So as you can see this is Volcane. A brand established in 1858. And actually also a brand that is very well known for providing watches for American presidents. So the watch comes in a cardboard outer box as you see on your screen now. Inside you find this black, I believe it is plastic, but it could be wood. I'm not quite sure if it's kind of a lacquered wood with nice gold printing. You open the box and here we find the watch. Really nice interior as well. So this watch is the Volcane Skin Diver Nautique. This is a remake of a 1960s Skin Diver watch from Volcane, a very true to the original concept remake of the dive watch and here the Volcane Nautique skin diver is out of the box straight away you can see this is of course a very vintage inspired remake dive watch it is as I said inspired by their own design so this makes it a very truthful remake it's not a remake from a micro brand or something like that it is actually a remake of their own design their own watch from the 1960s so although this is a remake of a 1960 watch it is of course also an updated version with better materials, better movement and stuff like that. You can choose between four different straps, carbon leather, black leather, brown leather or rubber strap. The watch is priced at around 1650 US dollars. Inside of this watch beats the ETA 2824 and I was so happy when I saw that Volcane they are actually deploying this movement. I'm a huge fan of the ETA 2824. It is a historic movement. It's a really accurate movement and it's a movement that is so easy to service and I really just love the ETA 2824 for being one of the best generic movements you can find. So the size of this watch is also a really cool thing because Volcane they didn't succumb to make a way too big remake of the watch. A lot of watch brands they really want to make these big 41 or 42 millimeter versions of old dive watches. I really like that they kept it down to 38mm in diameter, only 44.5mm from lock tip to lock tip, a nice thickness of 12.2mm which is of course also because of this domed sapphire crystal which is really made to resemble the hesalite plastic crystals they used back in the day. Really nice touch, you also even get the right, you see glow, warm glow that you got with the old plastic crystals back in the days and then you have a lock with here of 20 millimeters so if you don't like the straps you can easily change into other straps the case finishing of the watch is really nice for a remake of an old dive watch back in the days they were much more raw in the finishing of the cases this is really nicely finished with a satin brushing on the sides nice chamfering here which is polished brushed locks satin finished and the same on the other side turning the watch over we get this Beautiful case back here, you see. Really nice design. Sold all over the world since 1858 Volcane watches. You also notice on this carbon leather strap that you actually get easy removal spring bars and it's branded Volcane. It has a nice finished crown as you see here. This is a screw down crown polished with the Volcane logo. Nice knurling here. So it's very easy to grip. I think it's the right size for a 38mm watch. Then of course the bezel, which again is a ceramic insert, so you get the modern materials. It will not scratch and it will not fade as an aluminium or stainless steel bezel. 120 clicks. Really nice action. It has the right resistance. It's super accurate, no play whatsoever and everything aligns. Now Volcane also did something else that I really like. They kept the dial super simple, super vintage in its look. So you get this aged Super Luminova Swiss Loom for the hour markings, triangle at 12 o'clock, sticks at 3, 6 and 9, and then the circular hour markings at all the other hours. Then very simple Volcane name and logo Nautique below 12 o'clock and then a really cool nod to the history back in the days Inca block 23 jewels and here you also see L Swiss model L 
above 6 o'clock. And you also see the simple baton style hands which are filled with loom. I really like that they kept it simple, they kept it very clean. No date, not too much writing, not anything like that. And for a vintage inspired dive watch like this, which is a remake, I also really do like that they didn't apply the hour markings. It just makes it look really old school. So you see the beautiful blue sunburst dial here. And maybe in this light you can see that it has a really nice texture to it. It's not completely glossy. It has a nice texture making it look a little bit aged. And a beautiful sunburst effect in different lighting situations. It becomes light blue and then dark blue. And as mentioned, it is an ETA 2824 Swiss made movement that is inside of this watch. It beats at 28,800 patients per hour. It has 38 hours of power reserve. And let's just have an accuracy test because this was a huge surprise to me. So you can see this is a super healthy movement. We get between 1 and 2 seconds plus per day. So this is super accurate. I will believe that Volcane they actually do regulate these movements. And also a loom shot. This is Swiss Super Luminova. And I'm very happy with the loom. I was a little bit anxious about the loom because it's not a lot of loom that they do apply at the hour markings. But I think it does a great job. The problem with not applying too much loom as they did with this Volcane Nautique Skin Diver is that it will not last. So Definitely you don't expect this loom to be glowing all night, it will fade. And let's just have a closer look at the crystal here. Really nice sapphire crystal which just gives the reflection of an old hazelite crystal. Really nicely made, super beautiful dome. The problem is that the AR treatment, if it has any AR treatment, isn't very good. It is extremely reflective, so that is something to take into consideration. If you're usually maybe working outside or live in a country with a lot of sun, then this is something to take into consideration because the AR treatment isn't very good on this Volcane Diver. And while I'm wearing the watch on my 17 0.5 centimeter wrist circumference you can see it wears perfectly this is just a perfect vintage size i think so as we mentioned earlier in the video and as you see on the watch box for this watch volcano they were actually established in 1858 in 1894 they changed the name to volcano so probably the most Famous watches are the cricket watches from Volcane. So these are alarm watches. They make a lot of different cricket watches. Volcane with the cricket watches are famous for actually being the watch that American presidents, they get handed over. So since Harry S. Truman was president, every president of the United States of America, they get a Volcane cricket watch. That is such a cool history for Volcane to tell. And let's of course also talk about the competition because the market of vintage inspired remake dive watches is a super oversaturated market. So the obvious comparison is of course the Tudor Black Bay 54 and the Tudor Black Bay 58. So the Tudor Black Bay 54 is priced at 3,900 US dollars retail and the Black Bay 58 is priced at 4,000 US dollars retail. So they are both more than double the price of this watch, which is something to take into consideration. With Tudor, you do get a bigger brand and you do get in-house movements, of course, so that is definitely something to consider. But at less than half the price, around 40% of the price, you can get a historic brand like Volcane with a really cool dive watch with good loom, nice fit and finish, and also great accuracy. So a very obvious competition is of course also the Oris Divers 65. So this watch is priced at 2,200 US dollars retail and it does house the Celita SW200 movement which is very similar to the ETA 2824. So these are priced quite equally. So that is definitely the stiffest competition in my opinion towards the Volcane Diver. But all in all, I'm very happy with this watch. My biggest concern is the oversaturated watch market for vintage inspired remake heritage dive watches but if you want something different and you want something for a historic brand and you want a really nice package for less than two thousand us dollars i can definitely recommend the volcano i would have wished that they did a little more with the ar treatment i'm not super happy with the ar treatment that is my biggest gripe i know some people will be disappointed that volcano they use ceramic bezel inserts but let's be honest 
you will not wear your dive watch for 30 years if you buy one with an aluminium bezel insert so you can see the wear and tear and fading that will just not happen we don't have the patience today if you want something faded something old buy a vintage dive watch this will keep up appearance it will look warm and vintage but it will still look fresh every day also in 10 years so i hope you enjoyed the review now i'm going to send the watch back to volcano unfortunately because i really like it if you enjoyed the review don't forget to subscribe to my channel give this video a thumbs up leave a comment down below in the description follow me on instagram and facebook and i will see you very soon again thank you bye